Hello everyone, it's Glitchin' Out, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be making a Minecraft volcano base. So yeah, let's hop right into it. Here are the materials you're going to need. However, for the dead coral blocks and the dead coral fans, I would recommend having at least two or three of the different variants. We are going to start off by making a circle. Note that the size of the circle may change depending on the size of your volcano. Um, feel free to pause right here to get the dimensions, though they're pretty simple because we're not going to be making a huge volcano. Once you have your circle, you are going to be roughing this up. And so basically, just go ahead and take out various blocks to kind of make the circle less even. And what this does is makes the build look more orga organic because we do not want a build that, you know, kind of is all very symmetrical and perfect because otherwise, you know, it doesn't look like it's from nature. And that's kind of what we're going for right here. So uh, try not to have too many of these kind of one blocks. So I wouldn't want to have like three of these right here. That wouldn't be very good. But yeah, thank you. Just uh, kind of come back and see. Okay, right here. This is uh, definitely, definitely too even. So we're going to go ahead move that around and you're just going to kind of go ahead and see what works and once you have a pretty good shape it's time to move on to the next step now that we have a kind of an even circle we're going to be going to each of the general four points so i think here maybe here um this point right here and this one right here so that you kind of have the general the general um kind of side points of the circle and then you're going to be going up and the way i like to do this is kind of just bring up a line going upwards and you're going to want to go for at least I'd say 20 blocks of height on your thing and that makes it so that your volcano has a nice amount of height which is really good because otherwise you don't you get a you get a very stubby volcano and a stubby volcano is not a good volcano so kind of just go up like, like this and you also don't want to go towards the center too fast so make sure that you're using kind of going up nice and high so maybe like these four blocks of height in one of these five and I think that is a pretty decent height and I might choose to go higher later on and you can it, do not it's, it's okay if you have a kind of messed up height at first because you will be fixing it later on and um, yeah I guess you just got to go over to each of these and finish them up a few things that I want to point out before we move on to the next step is that one make sure that you're going kind of more steep as you get higher up so you're noticing that as I go up, I'm making these, um, I guess each of these lines a little bit taller than the last one. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks tall, while this one is only five. So it's getting more steep as we go up. And as we get down, we're getting these kind of small ones. So three and four. You also want to make sure that the lines are not all even. So notice how these ones are the same, but this one is lower than the other one. And I actually should make this one a little bit higher. So there we go. We have that. And I'll even go through and change that one out. So you're making sure that you're not having the exact same lines going upwards. Because because as I said, we want to make sure that we're reducing the amount of symmetry as much as possible. So that we can have a more organic build. Okay, so now we're going to be taking our blocks and basically connecting these circles at the very top. Or the lines at the very top, my bad. And um, basically what this does is gives us a little bit of a kind of canvas to fill in and that makes it really easy to kind of get the shape because otherwise it's a little bit painful to get the exact shape because you know we don't have much to work off of so you notice uh, this is kind of ugly right now you're gonna have to work through and kind of see what shapes you're gonna need to make because we kind of want it to be a little bit close to what we have down there and it is gonna take a little while this is one of the harder steps I in my opinion because you have to kind of make sure that the circle flip fits in. You don't want it to be kind of lopsided. So you want to look back and basically see um, if we look back here, you're going to notice that. Oh, wow. OK, so it's kind of leaning to this side. We don't want that. So um, what we're going to do is actually bring this back and we can bring this a little bit higher. And this is kind of the, sp the area where you're going to have to take some time and really make sure that you have the exact shape because otherwise your volcano is going to look pretty weird. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're looking from every single side because otherwise you may see that one side is good. And on this side, you know, it's kind of looking pretty good. And we're going to look on this side as well. And I think it's looking pretty good, but I will adjust the shape a little bit still. Once you're happy with the shape, and I'm, I'm not completely happy with it, but I think that it is pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and move on and we're going to be going and filling in the general area of the shape. So 
I would recommend going up at least two blocks kind of like this and you can break a couple like that to kind of get these little ledges on the volcano but as you go up you're going to want to make sure that you're going more and more vertical so if we go ahead and come over here and look at our example we're going to see how it becomes very steep at the top while it's a lot less steep down on the lower parts so yeah that's kind of what you want to go for and it's going to take it a little bit you want to make sure that you're going back and looking at the build from all of the different angles because um, you may think that, oh wow, you have like a really good side, but then you go to the another side and it's not quite as good and you don't want that because, you know, you want your build to look good from every side unless you're kind of going for a Hollywood, Hollywood facade kind of thing. But um, yeah, this part is going to take a little while. So yeah, I would recommend taking your time, making sure that you have good shapes because it is going to pay off in the end and it's going to help you a lot so that you don't have to make as many changes as you get farther into the build. We now have the basic volcano but we want to expand on this because one the top is way too flat and two the volca volcano does not just stop in the ground right so we're going to start down here and what we're going to be doing is basically just coming through and adding these little piles of rocks kind of around the base of the volcano and basically one that's going to make it the bottom of the volcano look less steep and that's kind of what we want because as the lava kind of flows down we're imagining that it kind of slows down and pools near the bottom and what this does is kind of kind of gives us a more uh, flat look than the top, right? So over time, basically the lava is kind of um, piling up down here and you can even place a couple blocks out on the sides, but basically that kind of makes this kind of look right here. And we're also gonna wanna put some blocks in the ground just like this. And if you really wanna become even more detailed, you can take some stairs and put them into the ground but then you're gonna have to put some blocks here and here and what that does it kind of makes the makes it look like the, the ground almost has like a dent in it or like a hole in it so yeah we're gonna go around the whole thing and just do these little techniques like this and once that's done we're gonna move to the top and basically add another three to four blocks of height to the top of the volcano and we're just gonna go around and add in these kind of little spires kind of coming up or i don't know if you call them spires but like these jagged areas and imagine that this is kind of kind of like um, the very top of a volcano so it's gonna look pretty cool you can even break some of the blocks down like this and we're gonna want to have like one area where we're gonna have some lava pooling to kind of make it look like the volcano is active so if we just kind of take a look back you'll see oh yeah that's looking pretty good but we could add a couple blocks of height maybe here here you know just kind of come around it's, it's very random you're not gonna do this step wrong necessarily um, but yeah, you don't want to make it look too uniform. That's like the main theme of this tutorial, not too uniform, right? So after that, you're going to come and decide where you want your, your, uh, your lava to be, or your, I guess in our case, that should be magma and shroom lights. So I think I want to go down to maybe here, and this is the level where I'm going to have my lava. So we're just going to take our magma and kind of fill in this entire area like this. And then after that, we're going to be adding little pockets of shroom lights. So we're imagining that this is like different temperatures of lava. So we kind of add these little things maybe around the edges, some in the middle. And it's going to be either the hot or the cold lava. So that's going to look pretty cool like that. And basically after that, we're going to be taking the, these blocks right here and adding another layer of depth. Because right now they're very thin and we don't want them to be like that. So we're going to be kind of adding these little areas where the, the blocks actually come in a little bit more and you don't want to maybe add them like right here we don't want to go too much like that i mean though that does look pretty decent but <laughs> we are gonna be kind of thickening out this and what this does is basically makes it look like the volcano has a lot more depth instead of just being kind of this hollow shell and we don't want to be a hollow shell because you know it's it's a big volcano right so once i sun it looks pretty it looks pretty cool you can even come up certain blocks like this and um looks pretty cool like that and <laughs> this is the point where you're going to want to do the most, the majority of your texturing. So we're going to be coming in with our cobblestone and andesite and basically just filling in and making these little kind of veins of the different blocks. So you don't want to just want to like dot it around like this, kind of like go like that. Though you can do that in some areas. You're going to want to make these kind of veins. So more than one, like a chunk of it. And that makes it so that it's less of a kind of pattern, more like it looks like it's naturally generated or um, actually formed over time. Right now we have what I would consider to be a dormant volcano, and I would not know that it was active unless I actually looked in the top. So we're going to be changing that by basically breaking down a little area 
here down to where the lava goes and we're going to kind of uh, change the area around it so that looks more like a cracking thing and we're basically going to be having a little bit of a lava spill coming down off of the volcano and it's going to slowly get wider as we get to the bottom so if we go ahead keep coming down like this you'll see that once we get to the bottom we have kind of this nice thick stream coming down and i'm actually gonna go ahead and remove all these blocks right here because we're actually gonna need to be um making a little pool of lava down here so what i like to do is kind of just make a little area around this pool and it doesn't have to be super complicated but yeah we just want to have this little thing right here and we can do is add slabs to the edge so let me go ahead grab some slabs real quick and we're just gonna go ahead line the edge of this with slabs it's gonna look pretty cool just kind of this nice simple little lava thing and you don't want it to look kind of um like it suddenly becomes really wide or it suddenly becomes really thin you want to have a nice natural stream coming down so it's slowly going to get wider and wider as you go farther down and so let's see right up here maybe we'll add that and we want to make sure that you're not having any of these bits that are kind of like um floating so like right here you'll notice that the magma kind of flows down and then off of that we want to make sure that the magma is coming down all the way kind of um, a good building concept in general just for a bunch of different builds so that's looking pretty cool and then um after that we're gonna be mixing in our shroom lights again and the shroom lights kind of double as a light source that it can block some of the spawns and we're gonna get to the, the spawn blocking in a second but yeah once we have that it looks pretty cool and um yeah the volcano does not look so dormant anymore and i also might want to come in here and change the shape of this a little bit like that to kind of make it look a bit more natural and we might change this kind of pool area right in a little bit because it is kind of looking a little bit on the plain side now it's time to move on to the entrance of the um volcano base and so basically i'm gonna look and see where um the volcano kind of becomes a, a little bit thicker because we're gonna want to add in our little door right here so i think this is a good spot i want to make sure that's kind of centered not perfectly but you know it kind of looks good like that so let me bring that out like this and it's a pretty simple door design kind of adding these little knobs to the edge and then we're gonna be adding a little bit more right here then we can go ahead and break this whole area out like that looks pretty good and um it's a very simple entrance and what we can do actually is take some of our carpets so gray carpet i would recommend because of you know the color of the build and we're gonna be coming down three blocks like this and then placing some blocks here and then we're gonna be placing three layers of carpets on each of these and what this is does is makes it so that mobs do not pathfind to the um inside of your thing so i'll show an example of that real quick Right now, the lava pouring down the volcano looks pretty unnatural because it's just right next to the regular stone. We're going to go over to the edge where the lava meets the stone and basically replacing it with some black stone and some of the basalt. And basically this gives the stone a look that is a bit more charred and kind of burnt. And I know <laughs> stone is not, is not necessarily a very thing that, thing that can be easily you know charred or burnt, but this is lava we're talking about so you know it's kind of it kind of makes sense <laughs> its own way and yeah we're gonna be adding in our basalt on the edges kind of making this look a little bit like the more worn down stone and we don't want it to um, be right next to the lava necessarily though in some cases you might have to um, but yeah I think this is like a cooler version of the blackstone less charred less burnt looks a little bit more like the stone and then we're gonna be putting some of the oh and actually I do need to come into the inside and place some scaffold blocks here because the black concrete powder is actually really good for this very charred looking, very black looking stone. And you know, it kind of looks, kind of fits in. We have this, these three different blocks and they kind of combine to make a very, very nice looking area. The top of the volcano also is going to be quite charred due to the fact that, you know, there's gonna be eruptions every once in a while. So we're gonna be starting over here and kind of, you know, just going through and making a little bit of a border. And I actually want to do this out of basalt. Um, because that is the block that is what we're going to be calling the coolest block, the, the, the coldest, right? 
even though it's not necessarily cold in terms of temperature. So, you know, we're gonna be going through like this and adding in our little bits of basalt, kind of making a nice little outline. This will be changed probably, unless you, you know, you're really gonna need to do it on the first try perfectly. So yeah, let's um, make a border real quick. We are going to be using a technique called gradient building. So we're gonna be going over here. Let's, uh, let's use this as an example real quick. Basically, we have the black stone or the basalt right here. And then we're going to be moving up towards into the um, the black stone from the basalt so that we have this nice little gradient. We can also kind of dip it down every once in a while like this. And near the very top, we're going to be adding our um, concrete powder. So basically you get this nice kind of gradient coming down. It looks really nice. And you can even add some of the black stone coming up near the tips too. Just to kind of show that it's not quite as hot in certain areas. And I know this doesn't make perfect sense, like why is the hottest part right here? But it kind of looks more, makes more sense because it's a bit more charred and we want to go from kind of a light color to a darker color. So we're just gonna be going ahead and doing this on all sides. So we have the really dark colors near the top and we have the more neutral colors in the middle of the build with the cobble, andesite, and stone. Near the bottom, we have a lot of the same. I also want to mix in a little bit of the coral blocks and this is not mandatory, but it does make the build look a lot nicer in my opinion because the coral blocks are kind of kind of almost like the very very dried up lava and I do like how they look and um, you know right now we have um, a kind of kind of flat or not a flat build but there's not a lot of texturing going on near the bottom and we do you know we do have quite a few blocks but when I say a lot of texturing I mean like a good amount you know so we don't want to go too high with the coral so I would recommend going up maybe five to seven blocks at most because this is, you know, the gradient at the bottom, right? So that looks pretty good, and it is kind of a little bit splotchy. I don't know. I might change that, but yeah. Once we have a lot of the coral placed down, we can actually go back through and replace some of these coral blocks with different types. And what this does is kind of mixes it up, makes the coral look a lot different. And I kind of like the coral, the dead coral. It's like it gives you like seven different very, or not seven. It gives you a bunch of new variants of stone to use, and. Um, yeah, they're not exactly stone, I know, but they are, they're kind of similar to it. So, you know, you can use them as a stone block and um, we come in through here. It's going to look a lot nicer. Um, yeah, we got to make sure that we don't have any clumps of the same or not like a large amount of the same, right? So we just kind of step back. We have like, a very nice looking gradient of blocks right here. And um, yeah, now it's time to move on to the little tree in the back. You might have seen it at the very beginning of the video and it's going to be a kind of kind of thing that you know hangs off the back because otherwise you know we have a very plain volcano we have the lava out the front but we do want to have something in the back too so yeah let's work on this tree we're going to start off by finding a block that we want to place the tree on so i think this one's going to be it for me and i'm going to place a coarse dirt here or um it can be a grass or a regular dirt but i do like the coarse dirt look because it's kind of more of a dead looking dirt or not i know it's not exactly dead but it doesn't look as alive as the grass and we don't you know, want a live blocks on our volcano really, you know, we are, <laughs> and you can see that because we're also going to be making a dead tree, right? So basically we're going to want it to kind of come out like this and we don't want to make it too big. I think that's about good. And then we're just be coming off and making these little branches and we want to make this tree look very gnarled. So we can even add some branches coming down like this and all over the place, but you don't want to make it go too far out. You know, branches should not be going too far because we're assuming that you know the branches that did manage to get out a decent distance they died to a um eruption at some point so there we go a very gnarled looking tree <laughs> and we're not adding any leaves to this which makes it actually really simple because you know it doesn't really make sense for there to be leaves on a dead tree right so after that we're just going to come through and add in little patches of alive areas or like less burnt areas and I, I guess we can we have to mention that the acacia kind of looks like a dead wood. So um, having these little little bits of of the oak also kind of blends it together and makes it look a whole lot nicer. You don't have to put this everywhere; just a small little splotches here and there. And on the ones that have it, you can actually add in little branches with the spruce um, fence, and they're kind of a bit more narrow. Looks a bit pretty nice. And we can also come in with our stairs and slabs and kind of just mix them in here and there to give the branches a little bit more of a nice look so yeah we have this and i'm also gonna go ahead and add a few of the coral fans and this kind of makes it look like almost very 
small branches or leaves. And if we just come around here, it can even be a little growths. But that's our tree. It looks really simple, really easy. And you want to make sure that you're actually um, changing the Y values up of the branches a good amount. So I actually have I'm not been very good about that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and move a couple of these around just because, you know, we want to make sure we have a nice variety of heights of the branches. But I think that looks pretty good. So I think now it's time to move on to, you know, the little smoke that's coming out of the volcano. The smoke of the campfires really ties the build together quite a bit. And what we're doing is actually just adding a few campfires here and there to kind of make a nice area full of smoke. And we only want to do this on the bottoms that have the... Um, the magma or the shroom light so yeah we have something like that and then all we're going to do is basically put hay bales underneath some of these but not all of them and this gives the smoke different heights so there we go looks pretty nice you can actually come through the back and see the smoke is starting to come out and it makes the volcano look a lot more alive and that's pretty good the next thing we want to do is work on the flooring in here. I'm not going to do a full interior, but I do want to kind of add a little bit of a floor in here. And basically, we're going to be adding a floor of stone. And then we're going to be texturing the floor in with our various blocks. So kind of just mixing in all of the different blocks. going to make sure we have the coral, the cobblestone, the andesite. And this makes the floor look a lot more busy and more, like, I guess, lived in. So that when you're doing your build um, and you want to make the interior... You know, we have a nice little floor, and you can also make it completely different than this. This this is not mandatory at all, but I personally feel like this kind of adds a nice cave look to it. And I feel like when I imagine a volcano, the inside is usually going to be a cave in my mind. It might be different for you guys. Maybe you'll even make a nice modern interior to this volcano and kind of make it like a secret base, right? So, you know, adding in our little bits of coral here and there makes it bring uh, brings the build together quite a lot. Because, you know, this is the bottom of the build, so we want to make sure that we have a lot of coral here. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of these in, and I think that's looking pretty good. Are these the same? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to tell, though, um, the, which way the corals are actually the same. And then we are going to be bringing in our blackstone and basalt, and just kind of making little areas where we'll call them burnt. And so we kind of mix in these things, make sure you're mixing up the rotation of the basalt as well, because both sides of the basalt are really good for this type of build. So, um... Yeah, just gonna go ahead, come through, add these little splotches of the thing in right here, like that. Um, maybe like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll add like the beginnings of one right there, and there we go. That is the floor of the volcano. The final thing that you have to do for this build is the spawn proofing because you know it is going to get a little bit dark in some of the areas at night, and I feel like we can very easily spawn proof this build and make it look the exact same. So all we're doing is going over to every full block and basically adding a slab in. So on the cobblestone, you add a cobblestone slab. On the andesite, uh, you add an andesite slab. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put stone um, stone slabs on the coral blocks. And this is, a, it might take a little while, but it is going to pay off in the end. You'll be thanking yourself when a creeper, um, when a creeper doesn't spawn you know, on top of your thing and blow up your build. So yeah, just uh, get that done real quick. And that's it, a completed volcano base it's looking pretty good. I really like how this one turned out, and um, the wide variety of blocks really, really brings the build together, right? I'm also really liking the idea of a nice modern hideout for like a superhero or something in there. It's looking pretty cool. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Glitching Out. Goodbye, everyone.